Push me to the edge. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's been almost a year since I've posted uh, this video on my channel that's the most watched, but it's also the most informative video that I have. So I feel like to kind of wrap up the year, I'm just going to go ahead and post this video being the updated version of the one I posted a year ago, just so uh, many things in the market have since then changed and it would be best if I update you guys. And that video, people have been saying that, yeah, but I didn't really show any steps of how you know, I got so many members or how many uh, funds I have in my group. So hopefully this video can kind of clarify that and help more. Starting off with like a fresh mind of, okay, so I just downloaded this platform and now I want to start designing clothing. What can I do? So for many people, it is common sense that you should create a group that you are going to be interested in and um, that you're going to be uploading clothing to. So that's obviously very common sense to a lot of people. So I feel like skipping that step, I will be skipping that step because it's just common sense. But if you do need more clarification, I am making a document about everything that you could know about design. It's going to be 100% free, no payment for it needed. So hopefully that will help you as well. Biggest question people have is how do I actually get the group to uh, get sales and then as well as members without spending a significant amount of money onto ads or advertising it on different platforms that are paid ads for per se okay the thing with roblox ads unfortunately is that when you do upload an ad you don't necessarily know how far is going to push the ad so like let's say that you post a banner ad or something for 500 robux um and then the next day you check oh yeah okay so this ad worked you know it got you uh members but it never actually got you any sales so that's like the downside of ads However, there are some ways that you could hack the system a little bit and uh, get yourself more sales than you imagine. So a little tip that I think is actually really a really smart way to go about dodging this whole system that they have because it is an algorithm as well. If you think ads are not an algorithm, they are an algorithm. You need to establish yourself a home store. So what a home store is, it's just a Roblox game where you can showcase your clothing in a much uh, more game-like ma manner because if you really think about this would people rather be clicking on an ad that goes straight to a roblox group or would people rather be clicking on an ad that goes to a game that it, that they would potentially enjoy playing so if you can manage to get yourself a home store which you can honestly there's a lot of um, builders on x formerly twitter that you can um, hire and they can build you creations that you can then link to your group and then advertise it from there so personally i have not tested this out myself because i don't have a home store the reason why i'm telling you this method is because i have seen countless groups even groups i have created commissions for in the past they have a home store and they earn sales completely off of the home store just by advertising it you know they never advertise their group which is a very just smart way to go about this whole situation so that would be one tip that i would have for you if you're thinking about like where should i actually spend my robux on so spend it on your home store instead of your group so that is your safe way of spending your robux now there there is this one side of advertising that is very risky and dark because you never know if it's going to make it to the for you page if it's going to make it to the shorts page you never know i'm talking about advertising via tiktok and youtube shorts basically with my whole story i've posted this in my video that i posted a year ago it's the same thing i'm saying today my video was pushed my like my very first five videos got pushed okay so i got views for that and i got impressions on those and then once you kind of just stop being active on your account your account just dies out and when you post a video it's very hard to get back onto the For You page or the Shorts page. Basically, you can consider this a commitment that you would have to make. So let's say that you're going to do this little plan of, okay, I'm going to post a video every day for 30 days, but in a consistent manner. I'm not going to skip any days. I'm not going to skip any weeks, okay? I'm going to do this in a consistent way where every day I post a video. Even if your video, like your first three videos, might not make it to the For You page or the uh, Shorts feed, I believe that what's actually happening within the algorithm is it's getting people to here's my take so youtube is basically uh testing your videos on how far people will watch it like what is the uh watch uh rentation rentation maybe that's how you say it i don't know but 
the watch time that people actually watch your videos so let's say that your watch time is like 27 percent so like 20 seconds of your video that's really bad so obviously tiktok or youtube shorts is not going to push that video anymore because nobody's watching it because they know that keep in mind that they also have a play in this because the app themselves want people to keep scrolling okay so if people are just scrolling through videos and then your video comes up and they just scroll really fast well tiktok doesn't like that right because they just want people to keep watching the video so they can just keep earning money so you just gotta look at the other side of this that's another way you can go about this whole situation there are some limitations actually now that could hinder people's designing so it is very obvious that the ugc market has taken over roblox it is a mess like if you check the items that are being released on a daily basis it's, it's basically copies people just wanting to make a lot of robux so they can help themselves in devx faster okay so guys let's play smart like them so what we're gonna do you're going to look at the trending clothing on your um, uh, catalog feed okay because logically that clothing is the one that's getting the most amount of sales the mo most amount of clicks and the most amount of robux we will not be stealing this clothing because even if you steal clothing yeah still there are still thousands of copies of those stolen clothes out there so you're just you know fighting against this market of competitors that already have stolen clothing so what we're going to actually go ahead and do is take a screenshot of the clothing that is trending now put it onto a template on whatever platform you're using so for example on the screen here i am using ibis paint because that is the platform that i use for all my designs and we're just going to do something based off of this design so let's say that it like right here it's a hoodie yeah but we're not gonna copy it what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on pinterest and we're gonna find an inspo that we can kind of mimic to make the same shirt but better right because obviously we're trying to push clothing out there that is better now a little tip on what clothing actually does well shadings so if you post a lot of shadings people are going to buy that so for example here are some shadings on the screen that well do well including my shading up here that one has made 273 percent higher than more than the other of my clothings it's obviously really simple to make but it can um make you sales easily if that's what you're looking for another thing that's very overlooked is photo bash there's absolutely no issue with photo bash i don't know why there are people in the community that are like yeah you shouldn't be doing photo bash like it's copying clothing it's really not copying clothing you're adding your own shading to it as well because if you look most of the clothing people wear is photo bash nobody actually takes the time to make clothing like you know what i mean me personally, I do like this cartoony style just because uh, for the groups I work for, that's what they prefer, yeah? But for my own group, I would probably also do photo bash, but I just don't upload clothing to my group. So that kind of links into our next tip that I would give you guys. The tip is to actually do commissions instead of having a group. So the reason why I'm saying this is because um, it takes a long time to get your sales to actually be significant in Roblox to have like a steady rise of sales. But instead, what you can actually do is if you charge uh, a commission for 2000 Robux for just one outfit, you're making 2000 Robux in a day that you couldn't be making in a day if you were ma if you had a group. Like, I don't even make 2,000 Robux in a day, I'll be honest with you. I don't. So me doing a commission for 8,000 Robux per outfit is really... That's so easy, like, to DevX, too. Like, I can show you guys the calculations on the screen. 8,000 Robux per outfit, and let's say that I make three outfits per month. If I make three outfits per month, I'm earning about 24,000 Robux um, per month of making outfits now if we multiply that number by 12 we are going to get a six figure number which is 288000 if you go ahead and devx that number the amount that you'll be earning back is 975 us dollars you can be earning just by making three outfits per month if let's say your rates are a little bit lower like you charging 200 robux or 1000 robux well it's fine just create more outfits and you're gonna get robux yeah yeah it's really simple guys really it is now that is the end to this video hopefully people understood a little bit more and uh, my viewers can now understand a little bit more of why i do say these things that i say because i've been designing for about three years now and honestly i've learned a lot and if you ever need help just 
you know, you can go ahead and uh, add me on the Discord or you can even uh, join my group and comment on my wall. Whatever works best for you, um, I'll always reply to you. Anyways, I really hope that you guys found some, uh, like, a takeaway from this video that you can use for your future projects. Um, now, make sure you like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and then share this video with your friends so you can be telling more people that Oof Souls has the best videos in this planet, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. See you later.